Fire Rally, and welcome back to Everland 2. Last episode, we expanded my collection and bought a house to celebrate. And uh, today, we're going to do some more collecting in the present day Genova, and then after that, we will start going into the storyline a bit more. And that will be fun. You know, I can't, I can't do 100% stuff, stuff forever. So let's go do that. All right, so we're in Genova, and I don't, I don't know if we actually, <laughs> if we actually have been to Genova in the, the present after the explosion. I don't think we have been, but yeah. So everyone's kind of panicking. My father locked himself inside of the house. We need to leave. I will get out of here. It's done. I'll sell this house as soon as all the quiet's down. <laughs> yeah, that's my house. Because the guy actually does what he says. Alright, let's go in here. Look at that. It's all happy, fun times again. So, I can't remember who we beat in here, so I'll just try to beat them all. Wasn't that guy. I know there's at least one person here I didn't fight, actually. Uh, yeah. Can't remember who we beat against, but now that I think about it, I think the person we did challenge is this lady. Because there's a card that is really weird looking, and I know we don't have it yet. Easy victory. <laughs> These guys are the first card players, so you're technically supposed to take them out first. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so the programmer art looks really weird. Let me show ya. It's the last one. You see what I mean by it looks weird? Yeah, it looks weird. It looks like something Devin would drop in Photoshop when he's bored. But yeah, um, I'll go beat all these guys again just to make sure, and then we'll be right back. Actually, I think there might be one more thing for me to do. I might want to do that first, actually. Maybe this will be a 100% thing, but I promise it'll be interesting. Oh yeah, there's the program. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure how much footage I did was cut, but I think during somewhere in the card, card battles, uh, it decided to quit unpausing my recording. And so what ended up happening ultimately was that I uh, lost some stuff. Well, not exactly lost some stuff. It didn't capture stuff. So just in case, I am in the arena battling these pirates. I, de I defeated the leader and now I'm kind of in an endless mode of pirates. Uh, so this is kind of what it looked like, but picture the giant boss in here a, a few rounds ago and you get the picture. I have gone up to level 28 from all this. It was like three, three nearly four level ups. It's, I'm just wanting to die pretty much because I'll need it in the next arc of the game. Because I intend to do that on the hardest difficulty mode. I'm not really trying to grind, I'm just gonna go until I die, but I keep not dying because Murphy's Law is my greatest owl, is my greatest friend. But yeah, um, so I'll just cut back when I've finished doing all this. Um, I will get a card out of this in the end, that's part of why I did it as well. And then we'll get around to doing the fun stuff with uh, the next art, the next piece of the Magi key and that good stuff. See you there. Oh yeah, I also hit max gold limit. That's a thing too. So yeah, guys, there's an achievement for getting to level 31. I'm on round 45. I still have yet to die and I'm still going. I think I might call it quits at 50 because it's taking forever. Look at all those guys. Guys, I'm on 51. I think it's time to quit. This is a long time. I've hit, I've leveled up like seven times since coming in here, I swear. They are not gonna gain any progress against me. Maybe they will. This game is lagging pretty hard out. <laughs> you can't beat me. I will lag punch you as you lag punch me and then you will die because I'm the hero. And he's dead. Yeah, we're done here. All right. I'll meet you guys at the next location. I don't even care anymore. All right, guys. I think it's official. I, I'll quit now. I've reached level 31, and there's 60 goons. I re they can't even hit me. Hey, guys. It's Apple Bird. Oh, hey, bye. Bye. I'm just walking straight into the masses, and only, like, two of them are hitting me. This is just weird. I'm just gonna sit here and take it. I'm sit. I can't sit here all day. Kill me already. Kill me. Thank you. Urgh! 
Earth. That's how I feel right now. You defeated the pirate leader. <laughs> but you're super strong. I'm, I mean, you don't look like it. With your skinny arms and your teenager look. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you, Mr. Super Mario. Please don't hurt me. Take this as an apology. There we go. We got Captain Ababa. We also have about half the cards in the game now, so yay, there we go. So, um, let's actually go head out and do what I meant to do. Actually, let's go check for card goons, just to be sure. Alright, there we go. It was just another one of those, those Imperial Special Forces fan, fan dudes. Alright, everyone, well, fighting pirates and grabbing cards, all fun and all, but it's time to actually get some work done. All right. What is the meaning of these? Okay, apparently this guy is now like part British, not British, whatever that accent is. You sound surprised, Colonel. Surprised? Coming from you, Magus? It's no surprise. Look, it's one of the guys in my cards. But you? How could you? Honestly, Colonel, come now. Try not to frighten my lieutenants. I'll soon have need of them. Your lieutenants? They belong to the Empire. Times change, Colonel. You see, I long served your great Emperor. But no more. I shall have my turn on the throne. I have decided to establish my own Empire right here. You're a madman! All you have are a few dudgeon, dudgeon soldiers. In just a few months, the real empire will be here with his arm. The em the, yeah, 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 I hate you. You're bad. You don't win. Don't worry too much for my sake, Colonel. You can't even speak English. In, t in that time, I will have conquered Demonia and wiped out the last of the demons. And my army will re rival that of the empire. But how? I shan't reveal my secrets, Colonel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a continent to conquer. Traitor! There we go. You gotta give that guy props. <laughs> like I said in Sinbad, that guy deserves a raise. I have to stop them! Oh, look, there he goes. There's Menos. Super Mario! We must act quickly. Demonia has yet to fall, and I can still aid my people. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> I love the little path they have. Hey! I know you. You fled the Colosseum. What did you go by? Oh, right! Super Moria, wasn't it? What are you doing out here? Ah, I see. Naturally, if you were the demo a demonian prince, where else would you go? Let us through. I'm sorry, but there's no use fighting them. You would need an army to reach Demonia. Even I'm powerless for the time being. There's one possibility. We could team up with the Empire. Never! Make a pact with Demonia? That's ludicrous! But there's no other way. If we don't stop Magus, the fighting will only get worse. Tens of thousands will die! That's what I learned in school, anyway. We have to stop Magus before he takes it to Demonia. Joining forces is the only way to do that. It is imperative we reach Demonia before time runs out. And if, to that end, I must ally with the Empire, for a short while at least, so be it. Falcon? It's not possible. I can't. My orders. We are at war with Demonia. Maybe, but it's Magus who started this war, hoping to seize Demonia and, and keep it for himself. And knowing that, you still want to follow orders? You ought to know to bend the rules when it's for the good of the Empire. I... 
I can't. I go against orders. Well, Fire Alley, it seems we won't be easy, easy. It won't be easy to persuade Dawkin. In my time period, he's known for having led the army that fought Magus. The battle turned into a real bloodbath, and thousands died on both sides. That's why he's been dubbed Dalkin the Red. After his victory, if you can even call that that, he left the military. He's likely still alive in my time. It makes me wonder where he might be now. We must convince him to allow my, my passage. Us passage! I must come to my people's aid! Why won't he accept our help? It's the best option there is! Bye. So yeah, there's the first part of this little arc of the game. That was five minutes of dialogue, too. So, let's see, how much how much does that leave us with? I don't know, I can't math easily. So now I have to go back to Genova. And I'll see you guys right then in that time period. Alright, everyone, we are back. And we're in Dusty Genova. Yay, just Justy. Dusty Genova. <laughs> And I know exactly where we need to go. Hello, sir. My father locked himself in, in this house. We need to leave. How can I get him out of there? Who's my father? Oh, he was a, a colonel in the Imperial Army. But I'd rather not talk about it. It's done. I'll sell this house as soon as all this quiets down. See, guys, you thought I did nothing useful in the last episode. That's why I bought the house. It's because that's actually how you get through this. It was very interesting. Ex exploration is really, really rewarding in this game. I had to figure that out on my own. It was so much fun to do. There's his armor and everything. I like his new his old man portrait. Who are you? And what are you doing in my home? Oh! I know you! Not this nightmare again. Listen, I'm going to wake up soon, so I just wanted to tell you one more time. Tell you how sorry I am. I should have listened to you. Yes, I should have listened. I was only following orders. I had no other choice. All those people dead because of me. My fault. If only... If only you'd carried... The Emperor's seal of confidence, as I do. My medal of honor. I never take it out of the cabinet nowadays. I don't deserve it. Leave me! Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. It marks the Emperor's trust. Certain uh, prestige and stunning mantle on the mantle to boot. There's his armor. I what? What? You told me to get out now? Fine! Fine! I took him down, guys. It was easy. I just put out the, uh, the developer's guy. I got front to myself and then myself, and then he was toast. I was so close. There, you deserve this card. You gave me your medal, you gave me, you gave me Emperor Lothair. What else are we gonna get from him? Alright, back to the island. Alright, we are back. Yes, we are back. Make sure, twice now. Uh, ooh, my game is lagging. It's telling me I don't have enough CPU for this. I cannot be careful. I, I have my orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, have a star because I'm lagging. Yeah. Imperial medal. What? You care? Imperial medal? A sacred em emblem of the Emperor's trust. Which means the Emperor wishes for me to join forces with you? Well then, I have no choice. One must follow orders. Any help I can provide is yours, should you need it. With Dalkin's help, you'll be able to recruit and command an army. Prevent the Magus from reaching Demonia. I think if I go beyond here, we'll start a fight. So, um, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna end off the episode after that. But I'm gonna go clear some disk space, be right back. Alright everyone, I'm back. We, I cleared footage from the foe. Watch out! It's a patrol from Magus's army. You know, that guy's voice has changed like 10 times here. We have to strike quickly before they alert the rest of their forces. 
If your friends judge right, rightly, Super Mario, you're an able strategist. But I won't let you lead our future army until I know what you're fully capable of. You take command. It's a good way to show me what you can do. Attack! Tactical RPG mode, finally a chance to think. Think it over. I love this theme, by the way. It's the best theme ever. All right, and, and uh, I said that, that I actually legitimately said this my first play too, so here we go. Welcome to my domain. This is my domain, and I will conquer. No, we're not waiting. No. Okay, I'm already getting out of this thing. And Dalkin is like a tank, so we'll be fine in that regard. Charging is exactly what it is normally. And yeah, sorry, I can say Enemies turn. I love this. Love it. It's just a shame it, it doesn't go on for longer. Alright, and then uh, the archers, they'll they'll pierce pretty much, so you just take them out. Wrecked! The points over there will help you for more guys. It'll tell us this later anyway, but who cares? By the way, everyone in this game has Vengeance Strike, Archer, including Archers. This is also why I got Trina up to charge level 3. I want to see if that will actually count for something. Got one of them. Vengeance Strike! Yeah, I think you can get more out of doing a Vengeance Strike. Yeah, so if you just sit there and take hits, I think you actually get a lot of fame. Let's let's test that out. I'm curious now. There we go. We didn't even need that. Oh, I could obliterate that guy right now, but let's go obliterate this guy. Where? <laughs> I just had to. Alright, let's see what happens if he hits us. Oh, uh, he got obliterated by Dalkin. <laughs> well done! An outstanding victory! Super Morio, you have what it takes to be a great commander. In fact, you seem to possess many talents. Let's move on and look for a strategic location to set up camp. Alright, here we go, 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 go! And you see, it is turned purple, so now we get to go on to the campaign, and this is awesome stuff right here. However, even though this is going to be a little bit shorter of an episode, I'd say this is a good place to end it off so that way we have more content for the remaining episodes in Demonia. I'm going to have a blast with this and I also have to go make sure that when I put it on the hardest setting, it, they call it hardcore, it used to just say hard, so I'm going to make sure that, I actually, that if I lose it isn't permadeads because I would hate to do all this 100% content all over again, I would probably just end the series right there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna research that so that doesn't happen, but yeah, see you guys in the next episode. I'm really excited for this part. It's my favorite part of the entire game.